Thank you for joining us on Data Cloud Now, where we bring you the latest in all things data in business and industry. I'm Ryan Green, and I'm joined by Carl Bjorstrom, Executive Vice President, Head of Tech and Telecom Industries for Capgemini Invent. Carl, great to have you on the program today. Very nice to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Looking forward to this discussion. And uh, Snowflake, uh, thank you, Snowflake, for, for all the great work together and looking forward to the next iteration here as you as you launch your new uh, new products and services with us. You know, we're going to get into those in the not too distant future, Carl. But to start with, as it relates to the telecom sector, what trends stand out in your role and how is data allowing the company to solve real world problems in real time? We work with clients and, and now I'm going to speak for Capgemini overall. Like we work with clients across virtually any sector on the planet. Right. And digital transformation is front row and center of what we do and what i would say is i don't think there's any meaningful digital transformation without data at the core in some shape or form honestly i've never seen a good and successful digital transformation without a data component i have seen a few that did not have data components and yeah let's let's uh, move forward from that so whether it's being like product or whether it's being connecting customer engagement with back office or whatever, data and insights is really what matters. I remember, you know, 10 years ago, about 10 years ago, we, we started our uh, research collaboration with MIT. And, and what struck me reading and immersing myself in that research was how even it was sort of in between the lines of the research it wasn't necessarily outspoken but it was so clear that any successful case we had data analytics was so core in driving that successful transformation and and if i go more into telecom data about how people and businesses behave in the digital world is something that this industry, tele, the telecom industry, really has a, you know, so much to do with and could do so much more with, honestly, than maybe what we're seeing today, in my opinion. And so I'm really excited about that because cultivating the data that they have, that asset that they have, I think might be more important to drive top line growth, a return to top line growth for the industry than any of the G's you can imagine, 4G, 5G, 6G, whatever. Data is really key to top line growth for me in understanding how to monetize their data. And potentially, you know, we talk about, I've talked about this with different uh, chief data officers for different telcos. Of course, it's really important to protect and, and ensure the, the trust you have with businesses, with consumers, etc. And I think the telcos play that interesting role that we do, I think, many of us trust telcos, but how to combine that with the wealth of data they have uh, control over or, or can, can leverage is, is truly an opportunity that I think you know, can drive so much business top line growth for them. And now I haven't even talked about the opportunities around automation and the next generation networks, I mean, how do you orchestrate and uh, drive autonomous networks without data is, is just not possible. So data is, is absolutely key to, to the future of telecom and, and, and digital transformation overall. You know, Carl, really appreciate your, your insights up to this point. You know, you alluded to previously about Snowflake. I want to talk about their telecom data cloud launch. You know, how will this allow Capgemini to unleash human energy through technology for an inclusive and sustainable future? That's beautiful. And, and, and I'm happy that you read our, uh, our vision statement there. It's, it's quite lengthy. So, so thank you for reading that out to me. I thought it was a nice tee up for you, Carl. Uh, it's a wonderful tee up. Thank you. And uh, but since it's so long, let me just focus on the last part because, you know, the sustainable future. So for Capgemini, for us, we are all in on sustainability because we believe, I mean, we truly believe there's no future, honestly, without being sustainable. And I also think that the opportunity to share 
data about carbon impact, whether it's scope one, two, or three, so meaning whether it's your own scope or whether it's your partners up and downstream in your value chain or your ecosystem, I mean, that could be super valuable and, and really have an incredible impact for operators if they could share those data products internally and externally. So data products about sustainability, data products about the carbon footprint. And I think maybe that's one of the key opportunities that the telecom industry have in, in driving a platform play across and between industries, playing that role of a, of a mediator facilitator to drive a, as we say then for Capgemini, a sustainable future. So I see for telecom and for, for Cap, that's, a, that's, that's really an important piece for us to, to cultivate. I even think that, you know, lead, L-E-E-D, you know, for, for, for real estate, I wonder if, you know, tel the telecom industry could, could have something similar, lead for uh, digital services, lead for uh, connected products. And I don't think that any other, I couldn't think about any other industry that's better place than to have something like that. And, but that involves, you know, sharing that data across clouds, across enterprises, across businesses. And, and I think telcos could be in the right place to do that. Of course, they would need the right technology partner for that. Maybe Snowflake and maybe a strong consulting team for CAP. You know, I want to pivot back to, to you uh, more on a, on a personal level here, Carl. You know, as you kick off this new, new year, what's top of mind for you? It's interesting you say, you say kick off the new year. So 2022 seems um, a long time ago. And you and I chatted just now about 2022. It's the first year since, since the pandemic. But it, it, it always feels like it's, it's everything is so long ago. So we're already, in, it feels like in the middle of 2023, we have so much, so many interesting conversations and, and, and projects and engagements going on with our clients. But what I dream about in 2023 is that we start taking steps with this industry to, to, to get a return to grow the top line again. And I think, you know, I know that myself, my team and others are working really hard to making that happen. Uh, so that's what I'm excited about. And as I said before, data and data products are probably the key piece into unleashing that growth in some shape or form. And, and I, I, think, I think we, and now I'm thinking Capgemini, Invent, Invent plus our engineering uh, capabilities, which are you know, world-class, we are probably one of the few ones that can be the right partner for the telecom industry to to return to top line growth with the right technology and, and partners like yourselves so that's what i'm excited about for 23 that's what i'm excited about for for the next couple of years is how do we get this industry to be uh, a, a you know a start of an inflection point to drive growth and to get uh, valuations going, interesting partnerships, and and all of the excitement that people working in this industry um, could 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 benefit from. You know, I love that, Carl. The timing does feel right, especially with you know the launch of the telecom data cloud. You know, lastly, Carl, from your perspective, how can the audience learn more about Capgemini and Capgemini Invent? I feel like a couple of years ago, maybe we were the best kept secret in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> the secret's out now, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> it's out there. Uh, we are, no, I mean, over the last couple of years, we, we really built a next generation consultancy. We're more than 12,000 people across the globe. We integrated Cambridge Consulting, Frog, uh, and many other players in, into this sort of next generation consulting company. Uh, I mean, a shameless plug. We're in Hall 2 at the Mobile World Congress if you want to connect. Do reach out to me on, on LinkedIn, obviously, if you want to grab a virtual coffee. But the, I think the best way to get to know us, obviously, is through our work. So if you're a, a customer, a client, or if you're a partner, or if you, you want to join the team as an employee, as a consultant, I mean, we, we love our work and we're passionate about the outcomes that we drive for our clients. And that's how you get to know us. And that's how you, I think, you know, 
if there's anything I know about Snowflake, I think that's a, a common thing and a common value between the companies. You're always excited and, 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 and driving for the right outcomes for, for your clients. And I think that's where we, where we meet. And I think that's uh, what signifies good collaboration. And, and hopefully our clients see that. You know, Carl, I can feel the excitement and the energy. To your point, it's all happening at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure having you on Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much, Ryan. For the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. We'll see you soon.